Hello everyone and welcome to this live stream on Wednesday the 10th of March at 2 p.m. UK. Oh, we've Russell got James today. is also on the call with us. Russell James, would you like to say some words? Wow, I right? think like I should be doing that. Yeah, but I did it first. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Hey everyone, <laughs> uh, what's going on? Uh, say hello in the, uh, in the comments, whether you're on YouTube or you're on Facebook. Good to have you. Amy, tell us what we got today. Today we got cookie dough bites that we're going to make here. Cookie dough. Cookie dough. Yeah, we have that little. Oh, every time. That's what we do. That's how we talk about it. I'm just going to open up the old book of faces here because mm -hmm. uh, I don't have it open so I can see everyone's comments. Seems like a good idea. Um, essentially, take it away. Well, I'm just saying, like, I was just going to say, like, I'm just waiting for you. Okay, well, don't. <laughs> okay, great. <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're doing here today is cookie dough bites. Um, the recipe link under the video links to a recipe that's a little bit more complex. Uh, so we're just doing the inside of that today. And then the other step that you could take is making a chocolate praline that goes around the cookie dough ball. So we're gonna keep it nice and simple today because a lot of people that have been joining these go and make them right afterwards. So I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, so it's a really easy thing for you to make, like take 15 minutes off from your day or whatever and just make them. Um, so we're going to get, we're just going to jump in here. So from the cookie dough uh, recipe, you can have, you can find that on link on under the video to go to the site and follow along if you'd like. We've got oat flour, uh, ground almonds and lacuma. Lacuma is a Peruvian fruit. It's like, it's a melon and it's dehydrated. It tastes a lot like biscuit. So it's great in recipes like this when you want something to be kind of cookie doughy and like that. So I'll use it in kind of cake sometimes and, and like that. So w spice wise, we've got some cinnamon in here and we've got some freshly grated nutmeg. So I'm just going to give this a little mix around. And then we're going to get this into the food processor to, to just make sure that all the lumps are out. Just makes it a lot easier to actually um, mix it all up well in the food processor, but you could do it by hand if you wanted to. I have some vanilla medicine flower extract here that I'm going to put in, and you can use any kind of vanilla you'd like. Now, if I were to do this, is that a thing? They can't see it, no. Why not? Because <laughs> it's out you of said. shot. You said. It's out of shot. No, no, what, the other you part said. of what I said was it's not working yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. yeah, what you can't see, guys, is there's a camera just <laughs> off, off a frame there that um, we've got set up for close-ups. But, uh, but it's I not working yet. I still need to get a capture card for that, <laughs> is the technical answer. All right, all this is going into the food processor. I tell you, we could do. If you want to give it to me, I'll just... Well, I mean, yeah, go ahead and do what you need to do with your life. And then also let people know where they can buy it, because it's on your website, tool. All right, we're just going to mix this all up, if I can figure out how oh, to work sorry. this. Russell. Oh, it's not plugged in down the bottom. Russell. Russell didn't get it in. Where is it? It's just right under there. Just underneath. You'll see it. I see it. I didn't care for having to do that. No. <laughs> Okay, no, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. medicine flour in the UK, beingwhole.com. That's beingwhole.com. Um, in the US, genuineessentialoils.com. All right, I'm going to carry on. Carry on. Uh, but I'm also going to keep calm at the same time. We're going to use coconut oil. Oh, that's that's do you see what I did? And that's gonna, <laughs> that's going <laughs> to set them, but it's going to set them a little bit. He loves that on the soft side. Uh, if you wanted to, you could use cacao butter, coconut, uh, sorry, uh, cocoa butter, cacao butter, either one. Um, and that'll just set it a little bit more firm. And then we've got maple syrup as our sweetener here. And you can use any liquid sweetener you'd like. It's going to do two things. It's going to bring the dough together and it's also going to sweeten it. Uh, so if you're going to use a dry sweetener instead, pinch of salt, because, you know, salt. Uh, if you're going to use a dry sweetener, make sure you, you're going to need to have extra water in there. That's going to be the difference. So we'll just get this all comboed. It sounds unhappy. Rude. Sounds unhappy. Yeah, no, yeah. that's happy, normal. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay. Oh. What? What are you doing? What, are, what have you done? You guys just saw my ISO settings there. I was just playing around with the settings and it came up on the screen. How many times have we talked about not, talk, not, not talking about your ISO settings on a call? Oh. 
specifically. <laughs> and then we'll add just a touch of water to bring that together. <laughs> that on there. Don't be a smart Alec, <laughs> Russell James. Okay, now we have this brought together, so we'll just put this uh, into the bowl so you can see things a bit better. And you might be able to see into the blades there where stuff gets kind of stuck, um, like liquid tends to get stuck. You can see it now that I've removed the blade. So you just want to make sure you take that into account and get that out into the bowl, get everything mixed in pretty well. That'll happen on any food processor. <clears throat> so we'll just get that mixed through. Now you might be tempted to add some like bits in here, like chopped nuts or something like that. The only trouble with that is that it makes it a little bit hard to roll them out. So if you're going to do that, um, <clears throat> you'd be best off sticking to like keeping it on the outside or forming these in a different way. So if you're going to put anything through it, you might want to roll it out instead and cut it with a cookie cutter because that'll be a whole lot easier. So because we're just going to um, form these like this and then we're going to enrobe them and put some crunchy bits around the outside, I'm going to make them slightly larger than I would if this was for, if we were going to do the praline around it, like is in the recipe that you'll, uh, that you'll see when you click through because um, that would make it a lot larger. Uh, but if I was going to do this and put praline around the outside, these would be about half this size. Um, what do you need see. me to do? I can feel like you need me to do something that I'm not doing. <laughs> not at all. Okay. Uh, we just got some nice comments. Hello, everyone. Hello, um, everyone. We've got Jill Zimmerman. Yummy. Hi, Jill. Is she saying yummy? I, I, I got know. that. I don't know Jill Zimmerman. <laughs> okay. Sure you, sure you're yummy but when you Jill's say people's name. last name, I just assume um, you know them. <laughs> Marianne Wilkins. Hi, Hello Marianne. from Queensland at midnight. Oh, thank stayed. you. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Kelly Holden, of course. Of course, my girl. Um, hello, you two lovely peeps. Raw <laughs> Chef Mandy. Hi, Amy. Uh, Zoe hello, Howell. Mandy. Hello from Wales. Just hello, absolutely Zoe. international. From yeah, Wales everywhere. To Australia. Everybody in the club getting involved. Um, Sarah Barber. Oh, my God, making these today. So oh, Sarah Barbara. Today. Barbara, you know Sarah, don't you? She's old school, like. I feel like she did a class with me like 10 years ago. Huh. Uh, Nurit is here, of course. Hello, Nurit. From Jerusalem. Yin is here from Kuala Lumpur. Absolutely just <laughs> wow. all over the globe. Everywhere. Do we have an Aaron Paradise by any chance? Uh, not yet. No. Oof, she's going to miss <laughs> it and then she's going to watch the replay and she's going to get angry. <laughs> um, now, what do we decide on the pronunciation of Sherry? Sherry. Sherry. It's Sherry, sherry. like the drink. Sherry Hall Church. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Sherry. Um, Sherry, if I got that wrong, I really feel like I didn't, <laughs> but I hope I didn't. <laughs> uh, <coughs> and then on the YouTubes, we've got Phil Grist, absolutely. What up, Phil Grist? Hey, Amy. Oh, no hello for me. <laughs> um, this is how we drew. Is uh, Hi, it's Drew. That's Drew, my little nephew. He's like 10 or 11. How old are you now, Drew? Um, then we've got uh, Helene Morin. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, Helen. Mar yeah, well, she just, she's done lots of classes with me. Just commenting on the Pinky Kitchen. Um, it, on the what? Pinky Kitchen. It's actually yeah, red. Yeah, it's the red light district up in here. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it. Hates it. Okay. I specifically ask for red lights. All right. <laughs> Fawny. Hi, Fawny. Hello, hello. The Raw Builder is saying hi, Russell. So f for you is Phil. For me is the Raw Builder. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that. Uh, um, and then we've got... Puppy New Paul. Oh, he has made his 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 debut. D is he on the same um, form uh, thing that uh, Drew's on? Funny you should say that. Hi, Peanut. Drew texted me the link to watch you live. <laughs> <laughs> this is my family getting involved, you guys. It's just family affair. Yeah. Right, so I'm just rolling these into balls. <laughs> it's still happening. Anybody else? Yep. Yeah, um, we've got Irina. I'm not even going to... Uh, Try and pronounce your name. You're uh, a real last name from junkie. He Sl loves it. Slovenia. Hello. Um, then Atlanta, Atlanta, we've got. Oh my gosh. Uh, can I get this right? Um, De Havlin. De Havlin Mac. You really set yourself up here. <laughs> yeah. I like, okay, that a good shot. <laughs> it's a wonderful name. <laughs> um, and that's it so far. So. 
Oh, Irma's here. Irma. Oh, uh. Um, Irma Oh, yes. In Malvern. Yes. Hi, Irma. Just scrolling the Facebook, and uh, the best thing which jumped up is your live. Ah. Uh -uh. You know? It's me. You won the scroll. You won the, the in infinite scroll battle. Nice. <laughs> For at least now, right? Yeah. At least a couple minutes. Yeah, yeah. See if we can keep there, yeah. Is my dad still there? Let's test it and see how long he stays for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only rolling these all because of you, so that you can have them. Russell James. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Yep. Um, Drew, your dad's saying that Drew will be 11 in two weeks. And Drew oh, okay. says, yeah. Yeah. Drew, <laughs> yeah. Drew is, uh, is quite the artist, actually. Like, and I'm not joking, like, he is, yeah. he is well, he's properly, like... he's got a YouTube like, channel called This Is How We Drew. Check it out, everyone. Oh, This Is How We Drew. Very this cute. This Is How We Drew. Got it. No, I got you it. Got I had that. put it together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got some kind of tray I could use, Russell James? Yeah, what, what are you looking for? Some kind of tray just like this, but not this. Um... <laughs> um... I mean... Like, so, just anything? Like, if you I mean, could help me out right now, that'd be super. You could do, I mean, what about... I would appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, that works. Go ahead. If you put that here, I've got a camera over here as well. Where you want me to put this? No, because that's going to set off the what's the name in it if I put metal in here. Nah. But what I need, what you need? is another tray. Okay. <laughs> what will this do? Yeah, with a thingy, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Just getting a little help here after yeah. the whole food processor debacle. And then, you know, if you put that there, they can see yeah. that there. Okay, I'll just leave that there then. Yeah. It's like I'm my mom and you're trying to explain to me technology. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your papa's still here. Is he just keep checking in to make sure I know he's still here? <laughs> well, you That's just answered your so question. Pup. All right. We're going to do two different finishes on these. So I got some tempered chocolate here. Um, and I have some chopped walnuts. We'll do this as one of the finishes. And then I've got some cocoa nibs that are roasted. It seems like Russell James might have a question. I've got a question from the audience. Go ahead. Um, and I will say also Helen Chow is here from, uh, from oh, Surrey. Oh, yes. Helen Chow just, just joined some, uh, some and, online um, courses. And Vyara Kirilova is here from somewhere probably in Eastern Europe. I feel. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, one question, please, from Oops. Irma. Uh, the white silicone mold you usually, usually use, mm. um, is it suitable for ganache, ganaches to make truffles too, or will they break? And we push them apart, please. I think it's going to depend on the mixture that you're using for your truffles. It has to be something that goes firm enough that when you, because you really do have to push it out of those molds, uh, that it's going to stay, you know, uh, that it's going to hold shape. So when we enrobe these, I like to just keep them in the, in the, in the, in the you know, you've tucked them in. They've gone to bed. Just leave them there. Don't, don't mess with the kids, okay? Let's I the chocolate it. solidify. Let's everything go good. My dad's still here. <laughs> and then <laughs> we'll move really, over she's really to the nibs. <laughs> move over to the nibs. His attention span's pretty short, so <laughs> I'm just trying to check in here. See what's going on. Let's see. I think he's gone. Uh, all right, and then we can take this one out of the chopped nuts, although it's a little soon, so let's actually leave that for oh, a moment. Erin's here, already, oh, already three yeah. messages. Please tell her I'm here. <laughs> we were having a laugh, Erin, because uh, yeah, I, I got accused of like ignoring <laughs> you, and you were leaving messages on the recording. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so let me just read this out, because I, I don't want to be accused of anything. <laughs> Hello to my very favorite chef uh, um, from Michigan. Yeah, Aaron Detuba in the house. Well, actually, Aaron Paradise. If I'm being uh, if I'm being correct, she's she she's giving me a Russell with an exclamation mark. Like <laughs> Aaron and I are pretty similar in that way. Russell. Also, will she s please um, er send Aaron some bonbons? Aaron. Or bon bins. She's written, but <laughs> you're yeah. pretty sure that means bonbons. I'm gonna take a, <laughs> I'm gonna take a stab in the dark. <laughs> Go out on a limb. <laughs> Any of those cliche expressions? Um, Papa, nope. I only stay long enough to see your punim. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll find it's the British pronunciation. <laughs> punim. Yeah, did he spell it wrong? No. Oh, punim. Punim. No, punim. it's not Putin. No. <laughs> P-U-N-I-M. Punim. It's pronounced punim. Punim. Yeah. Okay, all right. It's it means face. Mine. 
Yeah, I know that. I just wasn't sure on how to pronounce no, it. Out you were just being, face. you were just being silly. Um, also confirming that he's still here. <laughs> In between commercial breaks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, these roasted nibs smell like roasted nibs, but really good also. Oh, <laughs> Erin's laughing, saying, sorry, I love you, Russell. Because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you got into a lot of trouble last week. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I wasn't there to defend myself. No, you weren't. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so, I mean, we're basically done, you guys, except for that Russ is going to try one of these on Cameroon. All right. Um, so anytime you want to go ahead and do that, you're going to start from this side of the sheet. Yeah. Okay. Because well, they're course. going to be more setter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I like the way you said I'm going to start. Oh, I, because I we all know you're going to devour the whole I thing. I did, I did a 60 day fast I wrote this morning. So 60 I'm, hour. 60 hour. Yeah. <laughs> it's felt like yeah. 60 days. <laughs> um, 60 hour fast, breaking it. Not with this. Did it earlier. Yeah, Anybody earlier. Interested? <laughs> Less so. Oh. Tell them what you can taste. Tell them about the textures. Tell them everything. <laughs> I can taste the lightfulness. Russell. Um, hold on. Yeah, manual focus. Because you, you, you put them. Is that it? You put them. Yeah. Taking the, the focus. Ah, uh, yeah. It'll it'll do that. <laughs> it will. I'm glad you know. In your, in your professional opinion. Yeah. Look at that. Soft. Bit of crunch. Nice. Nice texture. Um, what's the word? The contrast, the softness, and the crunchiness. You can probably just hear me in the background there. I didn't have a mic on, but there we go. There is a light. I don't. I probably don't even need to tell anyone here. I feel like it's good for you to, you know, use your descriptive words <laughs> before live streams. Before all of this, Russ would always eat the stuff that I would make, but. He wasn't so great at the start at being able to articulate what it what it was like, but you've gotten a lot of practice now. Yeah, you're doing I've much been really better. Just forced into it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them more. <laughs> be more detailed. All right, let's see if we've got any more comments up in here. Uh, Lin, Lin, Lena, Bellardo, Amy is the best. Thanks. Um, Newit is asking, do you buy the nibs roasted? The uh, they sound so good, crunchy, yummy. No, I actually buy them raw. Um, not for any specific reason, just because I, I was into like, you know, the raw stuff for quite some time. So I get my, my nibs from tree harvest. And then recently I've, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and roast them up myself. So I put, I have a little toaster oven. You could do it in your oven though. And I do it at a low temperature like you would if you were going to roast nuts <clears throat> so that it keeps like low and slow. Otherwise you can end up burning them pretty easily. So I'll put it on about 160, the oven on the convection setting. So you got a bit of fan assist in there. And it's just about six to ten minutes, um, and they go a kind of like this kind of color. Uh, they kind of look a little bit. Mm, they'll go from uh, like a matte off brown to this kind of more reddish color, like you see here. And they are they're awesome. Did you try one with nibulations around it, Russell James? I didn't. Can you, or are you feeling like that's enough for you? Uh, that's enough for me. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can go ahead and say the thing if you want, because it would have been perfect timing for that. That's enough, Ama. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to, but I didn't know what the variables no, yeah. were. And, you know. <laughs> That's probably better off. Um, Kelly's asking me, where's my blanket? Yeah, well, we're at his studio, so he's controlled the temperature in here today. Yeah. And actually, it's pretty chilly. What everyone else, I just like just to give you a little insight, everyone oh, see we where, what's going here on there. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, no, I was just going to say that on the Sunday live streams that Amy does, Yeah. by the way, if you check the description, if you, did you put a link to your live streams in there? No, but that would be clever mm. and necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you go to amy11.co.uk, there's a link to your site for something in there. In the yeah, there's all kinds of links in there, dude. We are just absolutely professional Shoot. right now. Um, if you go there, you can click on live streams in the main, uh, in the main whatnot, uh, the main heading, the main menu. If you He's will. got it. And you will see live streams. And Amy does a, a longer, more kind of in-depth live stream that is a, is a paid um, thing for, for anybody that wants that. And uh, Kelly Holden has been joining us for a few of those. 
But I think you were talking. Yeah, there you go. In there, he's bringing it around. I would see it's full circle. It now. takes a moment, if but he likes to give background. Yeah. If anyone's interested, yeah. <laughs> I get cold at Amy. Very. She likes it cold. Very cold. If my um, dad's still on, who knows at this point? Yeah. <laughs> Anything's possible. Uh, he also likes it very cold. There you go. I probably got it from him. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. So I have to wear a blanket. Yeah. Anyway. And a beanie and his winter coat sometimes too. <laughs> I really have to go for it. <laughs> Um, Erin's asking, what is Punim? Who is this? Erin. Erin? Erin yeah. Tatuba? Erin Paradise? Erin Paradise. Oh, Punim is, uh, it's, I believe, Yiddish for, uh, I think it's pretty face or face? Oh, the facial area. Shana Punim is pretty face. Yeah, no, Punim oh. is face, yeah. Um, thank you guys for these live translations and for your sense of humor. Hi, from Crimea. You're very welcome. Translations? Um, probably, I'm assuming, doesn't speak English as a first language and is trying to communicate that they appreciate this, is hmm. where I'm coming from. I was wondering if, like, Facebook's doing some kind of live translation of what we're saying. That seems unlikely. <laughs> but I would like to know if that's the case, yeah, yeah. also. Um, Nuriet says face. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because she's from Israel, but Russell's taking it in a different face. way. Face. Yeah. <laughs> Silly. Because when you run out of arguments, you just say to someone, face. face. Yeah, yeah. Which if you don't no, understand, you should do it. You should do it. No, you should do it. No, no you should face the water. Should do it. Your face should do it. Yeah. Face. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> That's your contribution to the class. <laughs> happy to help. Erin yeah. um, Paradise. You yeah. I think you can buy them um, at... Oh, do you think you can buy them at bulk in Guidos? 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 You're not talking about Guidos. Guidos. Oh, yeah. We used to live in Massachusetts, so she, but she doesn't live there anymore. I'm guessing if you took the drive to Guidos from Michigan, <laughs> you'd probably find that you can this buy them. This is real niche now. Or if she's saying to me that you can buy them in bulk at Guidos. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, the Hebrew is, is Panim. Panim. P-A-N-I-M. Oh, is it? Interesting. No, that, that's probably the translations. Oh my gosh, we got some. So we got some uh, YouTubers. <laughs> we got some YouTubers. Oh no, okay. Um, Puppy and Paul have to leave soon. Market opens soon. <laughs> they go first thing in the morning. Yeah. My 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 dad uh, and stepmom are retired and live in Florida. Classic. <laughs> and early bird specials get to the market early. That kind of. Oh, vibe. he's still here. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely, stay for the duration. <laughs> um, this is how we drew. These look so good. I'm on Facebook now, but no, I'm on uh, YouTube for anyone who can't see the comments on Facebook. Um, what else have we got? Dawn, Dawn Parry on uh, YouTube. Thanks so much for sharing. Great fun to watch too. Can't wait to make these. Make them. Good. Make them, make them, make them. Definitely make them. Make them right. and let me know how it goes. Any last, any last questions from, from, uh, from anyone? Um, no, I understand what you say without a translator. I love to listen to you and learn from you. Yeah. I would love to be able to give you the name of that person. Um, you but, don't even you know, try. There's like Russian characters. That yeah, I just leave understand. it. Just leave it. I wonder, does that go into Google Translate? The name. Let's have a look here. Just while uh, anyone's um, typing in any last questions, Google Translate. Let's see. He's big on names. He's also big on being able to pronounce them properly. He's also big on first name, last oh, name yeah. as well. So oh, anybody uh, he's following or podcasting, it's constantly a first name, last name. Julia name, Smirnova. <laughs> Is that correct, Julia? Have I just... Oh, I know her. I oh, know that name. Yeah. <laughs> See, that was worth doing. Yeah, of course it was. Oh, this is what I thought your dad meant, stock, stock market. And he's confirming that he's a day trader. Oh. Yeah, he's waiting for the market. Oh, market right? opens. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. got That's it. That's what I thought you meant, Paul. That's what Russell thought you meant. But I feel like there was, a, there was a time that we spoke. Oh, yeah, we spoke a few weeks ago. And you're like, we're going to the market. We like to get there as soon as it opened. Mm. So I, that's where my confusion okay, was, okay. just I to be you. clear. I get you. Fawny, always fun to watch the two of you. I think um, <laughs> I think we're done now here. And um, Erin's throwing up the deuces and saying, love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Um, do you want to say a little bit about... I was like, can I? Is that cool? <laughs> do I get a moment? Or are you just going to translate names for the day? So, <laughs> yeah. 
This, uh, this Sunday, I've got a live stream on raw donuts. And if you go to my website, uh, any of the links below will take you there, any of the amy11.co.uk's. Uh, you can go to live streams, and that's this Sunday at 4 o'clock um, UK. And we're going to be making three different types of donuts, a jam-filled one, a uh, vanilla jam-filled one. We're going to make a vanilla one with a strawberry glaze and a cream cheese glaze. And then we're going to make a chocolate one with an almond praline glaze and a chocolate shell and some little gold nougets, which is actually nuggets, nuggets for on anyone. top for anyone who doesn't speak Amy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's the Sunday. And <laughs> also, if you're interested, uh, I have just posted some bonbons on my website to, um, to purchase. So you can hit that also and go to shop and then bonbons and then you'll see the different kind of selections that you can choose from. Um, I will just point out, um, you had mentioned four o'clock Sunday yeah. UK time. There's yeah. a time change in the US this weekend. Is it? Sunday night is an hour is time change. Is it? So I'm not going to try and work that out on live no. streaming. No. But just know that, that's that a thing. for the next two weeks, we're mm. an hour out from where we normally are. Yeah, just know that. Just know that. And then just look into it <laughs> yeah, for yourself. Do your own research. Yeah. Take some right. responsibility. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. uh, oh. I don't want to leave it on that now. No, anybody else say anything that okay. we could we could pretend like you didn't say all that? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're just kidding. No, 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 I get it. Yeah. I get it. Raw Chef Mandy, thank you, Amy and Russell. You're it, thanks. Um, we've got some thanks going on. Thank you, everyone. Uh, just checking on the YouTubes. Yeah, we're all good. All right, sweet. All right. Um... Enjoy, have fun, My royal wave. be good to each other, speak soon. <laughs> Keep it cool.